Hello. Uh, thank you for joining me. So I'm so excited because, you know, um, today is Friday. So Friday is really a fine Friday. Fine Friday, fitness Friday, fun Friday for some people. So I was thinking, wait a minute. I don't even know what I should wear for this video. I don't even know what to do with my hair. Then I thought... Well, thinking Thursday was about to be thinking. So let me see. Wait a minute. So I thought, ah, my hair is just fine. The same thing I wore on Thursday is just fine. So this is just a fine Friday, everyone. We are going to talk about Fitness Friday. Fitness Friday because based on what I hear from my clients, and not from me now, most people on a Friday like this, they are so tired and drained. They can't wait to park for the weekend. <laughs> I hear my clients say, oh my goodness, by Friday, Dr. Stella, I can't move. So this is one strategy we use in our programs. We hold most of our sessions beginning of the week. Because on Friday, most people are ready to park. <laughs> but I want to tell you on this Friday that it's a fine Friday. Everything is fine. It's okay if you've been feeling like Friday is your day to just park and then sit all weekend. It's okay. There's always a starting point. So this is the moment. Um, fitness. What is fitness? Fitness is the ability to function. Let's make it simple. And how do we measure that? How do we measure our ability to function? It's really based on age and other factors like the well-being or the physical capabilities of the person. Yeah, so really fitness, even though it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a medical term or scientific term, it simply translates to can you function? So the question is when Friday gets knocks at your door, are you still able to function or you get ready to park? So on Fridays, we are going to be sharing strategies which can help people think. How can I make my Friday a fine Friday where I can even have energy to work on my fitness goals uh, on Friday or Saturday for some people, or Sunday for some people, or Monday for some people, or the whole week for some people. Remember, we are looking at five days a week of physical activity. That is the key. But there has to be a starting point. So for today, I want to share with I want to share with you these three things which define fitness. One is flexibility. Are you flexible enough, your body, to reach, to bend, to squat? Are you flexible enough to move and perform your functions? You know your functions. I won't go into the functions in this video. The next one is strength. Do you have the stamina, the strength to walk, for instance, to pick up boxes if you work involves that to dig holes if you work in there outdoors so strength is part of fitness we need a certain amount of strength to get up from the couch and walk we need a certain amount of strength to pick up two bags of potatoes when you go to the grocery store you need strength stamina the last part of fitness is endurance endurance has to do with duration how long you can perform an activity or a function so fitness friday is going to talk about how to improve flexibility strength and fitness in order to say my fridays are fine i am doing good we have hundreds and thousands of clients who have reached that point like, oh, Dr. Stella, I didn't know that I could pick up a bag of potatoes with one hand. Yes. Fitness Friday 
is your day to tune into this channel and find the fine facts about your well-being. And most of you listening to this video, you're waiting for this moment because you know yourself when it comes to Friday, you're not doing fine. You're tired. You can't wait for the weekend. Uh, you're so tired from working, sitting in front of your computer all week long. So there's a difference between being tired from work or being tired from being drained, feeling drained. So our program offers solutions. Solutions which helps your tiny little cells to say I am fine and I can function. Ah, isn't that wonderful? That you can have your 75 trillion plus cells say I am fine and are functioning because of fit, because of fitness Friday. So at some point you're not gonna hear me or see me sitting in front of a camera like this talking to you. I'm going to demonstrate what needs to happen. So for those of you who want solutions to address fitness and function and you want to be fit for your age and you want to know how to discover or uncover the secrets, click like, subscribe to our YouTube channel because you are on track to be fit and fine. Fit like a fiddle, that's what they say. So before I end this video, I want to talk about hmm, something which is kind of sensitive. And this is the midsection. Sometimes people come to our programs and they're so tired of buying new clothes. They're like, you know, I used to be a size eight. I went to size 10 and now I'm size 18. And Dr. Stella, please help me. I can't go to size 20 because I don't really have the bottom part. My bottom is not that big, but my waistline. And these clothes don't feel good. They don't look good on me. And I don't, I don't feel like myself again. And I have these tiny little dresses, which one was size 10, they're still in my closet. I have news for you. We are celebrating success stories this year of women who the past year were at the same place where you are now. And truly speaking, they are back to wearing their cute little dresses again. It's amazing when someone comes into the program and they weigh like 150. And they end up weighing 137 because they are very short so really the amount of weight one can carry is based on how tall they are the shorter you are the less weight you can carry because your frame your frame your body your structure your bones your skeletal system is not prepared to lug around 300 pounds 50 pounds when you're only 5'2". No. So that is what is called body mass index. So in order to start understanding fitness, you need to know your BMI, body mass index. The ratio of your height to your weight, the shorter you are, the lighter you should be. You can't be this wide and this short. That means it's taking a toll on your body parts. That means the heart can fail to function because the heart is having to push, push harder. We want to end this on a happy note. There are ways to know whether you are putting a lot of stress on your heart. One method I like to use is the waistline method. Uh -huh. So if you take a string a piece of string or yarn and you measure your height your height yeah your height is from the tip of the middle finger to the tip of the middle finger right there with your arm span that's your height or it's from the bottom of your foot to the crown of your head so you take a string 
like this. You measure your height. Let's say this is your height, right? It's your height. You're this tall. You take this, you fold it in half. When you fold it in half, this is your waistline. So your waistline is half your height. Waistline, half your height. So if you see yourself, this is supposed to be your waistline, but your waistline is this big, you know everything is not fine with the heart. The heart is having to pump with so much force, so much force that the arteries cannot take it. They can't. So therefore, blood pressure is up. Yep. Because the top number of your blood pressure is the force with which the heart is pumping blood out. So oxygen, water, nutrients can go to the tiny little cells. Yes. So, on this Fitness Friday, I want you to begin to think how much force is your heart pumping blood in? So for anyone with a blood pressure of 120 over 8, higher than that, higher than 120 over 80, the heart is pumping with too much force. Because picture this, you have a hose. Some of you call it a, a hose pipe. A hose. Take a hose this big and a hose this big. Two different hoses. One is this big and one is this big. Right? You see? Big, bigger. Right? And you have the same tap or faucet. And you hook the hose this big. And you turn off the turn on the faucet or the tap water is going to gush out through this little hose. The opposite happens when you take this big hose and you hook the same faucet in the same the water is just going to trickle down. So this is information which every single person needs to know. Why is this important? Because when the arteries are this small, the heart has to pump with harder force. It's going to be worked and it will fail. So the good news to you all on this Fitness Friday is that there is a solution to this. To reduce the amount of work the heart is doing, fitness is the key. So join us. Click the like button and share. Sign up so you can get started with your journey of reducing the amount of work your heart has to do by achieving your fitness goals. So this program is for you to gain fit, fitness Friday, to gain energy, to get healthier, lose weight, and sleep better. I am excited because I know you are making the right decision to jump on to this opportunity and make Fitness Friday a commitment to let your heart work without having to use so much force. Because when the heart uses so much force for a long time, it will fail. That is what is called congestive heart failure. So welcome to Fitness Friday. Click like and share this video. Sign up for our YouTube channel so you can receive updates because you are the person who's looking to be fit. You are the person who might help someone else achieve their fitness goal. Fitness Friday is for you. Click, like, share, and sign on so you can achieve your fitness goals. Great job, everyone.